All right, you ready for this? We've got raccoon, we've got experimental drugs, and we've got mayhem. Like a whole lot of mayhem. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Or a cult classic. We're diving deep into Crackoon, the upcoming horror comedy. The one that's got everybody buzzing? Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on this one. To help us unpack all this, we've got our film expert ready to go. Let's do it. I'm excited to dig into this. Okay, so first things first, set the scene for us. We've got this drug dealer. Okay, I'm picturing it. High Speed Chase throws a stash of like supercharged narcotics into the woods. I mean, this is not gonna be good. And then who comes along but our unsuspecting hero, a raccoon, right? Yeah. Stumbles upon this treasure trove and bam, right. raccoon is born. A premise that's both ridiculous and intriguing. That's how you know it's gonna be good. You know what's even better? <laughs> the director. Oh yeah, who's directing this one? Brad Twig. Mm -hmm. He also directed Killer Camp Out. I've heard of that one. Didn't it get like a cult falling online? Yeah. People love those so bad it's good movies. Mm. Raccoon could totally follow that same path. It definitely has that potential. And the release date is perfect. October 29th. Right in time for Halloween. Unleashing this drug crazed raccoon on the world. But here's the thing. Okay. There's already a collector's edition Blu-ray coming out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. A collector's edition before the movie's even out. That's got to mean something. Right. Like, that's a good sign. And that's where Blu-ray.com comes in. You think that's where the buzz is coming from? For sure. It's like the ultimate resource for Blu-ray, you know? Mm -hmm. Release dates, trailers, all the tech specs, and of course, user reviews. It's like a haven for film buffs. And the community aspect. I think that's what's so cool about Blu-ray.com. Totally. Totally. Fans can connect, they share their thoughts, create collections. It's that shared excitement. And that's huge for movies like Raccoon. You know, they don't have those massive marketing budgets. Word of mouth is everything. Exactly. So we've got this killer premise, the director's got a following, and online, the fans are going crazy. But let's talk about the movie itself. All right, let's dive in. So the description on Blu-ray.com, it paints a pretty vivid picture, right? It says, the raccoon, after it gets into those drugs transforms into this nightmarish killing machine straight from the bowels of hell. Bowels of hell. This is a horror comedy, right? Well, yeah. But there's got to be some humor in there somewhere. True. True. It also says the raccoon goes on an unrelenting rampage. Which, let's be honest, could be pretty hilarious. Like, picture a tiny raccoon covered in blood. I'm already laughing, but also a little terrified. It's that mix of horror and humor, right? Like, Shaun of the Dead meets Critters but with a lot more. Oh, uh, you know. Crack. That's a good one. Shot on the Dead meets Critters with Crack. I like it. Oh, and get this. The MPAA rating is not rated. Oh, that's interesting. They're really going for it. You know what that means, right? No holds barred. It just adds to the allure. What are we about to witness? I'm on the edge of my seat already. Okay, so much to unpack. But first, let's get into some of the details we found on blue-ray.com. All right, hit me with it. So bear with me here, because tech stuff isn't really my forte. But the collector's edition, it says it's got an MPEG-4 AVC codec and 1080p resolution. Oh, that's the good stuff. Crystal clear picture. No need to worry about those grainy visuals. So high definition raccoon mayhem, yes please. And one more detail, region A playback. That's important for anyone thinking about importing the Blu-ray. It basically means it's only going to play in North America, South America, and parts of Southeast Asia. Good to know. Got to plan those viewing parties accordingly. But let's shift gears for a minute. We know there's a collector's edition and some online buzz, but what are people actually saying about Kraken? Yeah, have you seen any reviews yet? Well, here's the thing. Because the film isn't out yet, there aren't any user reviews on Blu-ray.com. So how do we know if it's actually good? We can look at collections and popularity. Kraken has been added to 17 collections already. 17? That doesn't seem like a lot. But it means people are intrigued. They're already putting it in their movie libraries. They're early adopters, tastemakers, the ones who'll be leading the Kraken discussions online. Exactly. Okay, so what about the popularity rating? BooDreDre.com has it at 4%. That seems kind of low. It is. But remember, this is for a movie that hasn't even come out yet. Cult classics, they often start small, you know? with just a few passionate fans. So you're saying our listeners, they could be among the first to shape the Kraken legacy. Absolutely. Your reviews, discussions, social media posts, it all matters. Wow, that's pretty cool. We're part of the Kraken origin story. Hmm. But okay, back to blue-ray.com. They list the runtime as 90 minutes. Perfect length for a horror comedy. Just enough time for some good scares and laughs. Okay, but I have one very important question. What about those glowing blue eyes on the poster? 
So there's something more to that. Oh, you're picking up on the visual clues. Remember those experimental drugs? Who knows what side effects they might have? You're messing with me, right? Maybe. That's part of the fun, the speculation, the mystery, the what ifs. All right, so far we've got a wild concept, a director who's not afraid to push boundaries, and a dedicated fan base brewing online. Plus, those glowing blue eyes. We've got a lot to look forward to. We'll explore even more in part two. We'll delve into the potential for Crackcoon to become a cult classic, and we'll even look at how Blu-ray.com shapes film culture overall. So grab your snacks and get ready for part two of our Crackcoon deep dive. Things are about to get wild. This is going to be good. Welcome back to our Crackcoon deep dive. You ready to uncover some more about this potential cult classic? Absolutely. Last time, we talked about the premise, the director, and that online buzz. Now let's look at those top Blu-ray deals and trending Blu-ray movies lists on Blu-ray.com. Okay, yeah. What insights can we get from those? Well, I noticed a lot of the top Blu-ray deals, they're for older films. Like what? Classics, cult favorites, you know. The Goonies, Back to the Future, The Evil Dead. So it's like studios are saying, hey, you're waiting for that new release. Why not revisit something you love? Right. Nostalgia is a powerful thing, especially for us film buffs. True. But then you look at trending Blu-ray movies, and it's all new releases. Yeah, it's all about the latest superhero flicks, big-budget sequels, those Oscar contenders. So you've got this battle between the familiar and the new. Exactly. The comfort of nostalgia versus the excitement of something fresh. In Crackoon, it's right in the middle of that battleground. Yeah, it's brand new, so it has that potential to capture the hype. But it's also a creature feature. A genre that thrives on nostalgia. Right. You've got those diehard horror fans always looking for the next big thing. And then you've got those who are just intrigued by the pure absurdity of it all. So Crack Coon, it could appeal to everyone. Exactly. And let's not forget, it's not rated. Oh, yeah. That's a major selling point for those hardcore horror fans. It's like they're saying, are you brave enough? Okay, let's go back to those Blu-ray.com lists. I noticed some of those top Blu-ray deals are offering huge discounts. Yeah, like 50% off or even more. So even though the Crackoon Collector's Edition has a list price of $26.99. You could probably snag it for way less. You just got to be a savvy shopper. Exactly. Okay, but enough about deals. Let's talk about the movie itself. What kind of vibe are we getting from Crackoon? Well, it's a horror comedy, so it's all about finding that balance between scares and laughs. Right. But is it going to be more horror, more comedy, or what? I think they're aiming for that perfect balance. Hmm, okay, okay. What clues are we getting from the description? Well, remember that line about the raccoon being a nightmarish killing machine straight from the bowels of hell? Yeah, that doesn't sound very comedic. But then it also says the raccoon goes on an unrelenting rampage, which could be pretty funny. Like picturing this tiny raccoon causing all this mayhem, it's kind of hilarious. Exactly. It's playing with those expectations, finding humor in the unexpected. So is it more Evil Dead or more Shaun of the Dead? Ooh, good question. I'm leaning towards Evil Dead, personally. Really? Why? I think the not-rated status suggests that over-the-top gore, you know? More like Sam Raimi's style. Mm -hmm. I see your point. But what if it's more like Shaun of the Dead, where the humor comes from those awkward moments amidst the chaos? Oh, I like that. That's a good point. It could have that sharp, witty dialogue. You're right. It's those unexpected twists and turns that could make it really stand out. And let's not forget, the director has experience with this. Killer Camp Out definitely had that blend of horror and humor, even if it was a bit cheesy. So we've got a talented director. But remember those 17 collections on blue-ray.com. What do we know about them? That's the mystery. Unfortunately, blue-ray.com doesn't give us any details about those collections. So we don't know if they're all horror-themed or what? We don't. But the fact that people are adding it to their libraries even before it's released means something. It means they're seeing something special in it. Exactly. Maybe they're drawn to the creature feature aspect, or maybe they just really love raccoons. Who doesn't love a good raccoon? <laughs> Especially one that's hopped up on experimental drugs. That's what's sparking the interest, that unexpected combination of elements. Okay, okay, I'm on board. But before I go pre-order my collector's edition, let's talk about the role of Blu-ray.com in all of this. Ah, uh, yes. Blu-ray.com, a true haven for film enthusiasts. It's more than just a website. It really is. It plays a vital role in shaping film culture. How so? Break it down for me. Well, first, it's that centralized hub for information. Release dates, trailers, cast and crew info, it's all there. No more endless searching online. 
But beyond that, it fosters community. Oh, yeah. The user reviews, the collections, the discussion. That's where the hype builds, where those passionate fans can come together. And for genre films, especially those with a cult following, that's crucial. It keeps the conversation going, introduces the film to new audiences. You know, it's funny. We keep talking about Crackoon in the context of those cult classics. Like Evil Dead and Shaun of the Dead. Right. And those films, they became cult classics partly because of communities like the one on Blu-ray.com. That's a great point. Those communities help create and sustain that cult status. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It really is. Okay, so Crackoon, it could be more than just a movie. It could be a cultural phenomenon. It has all the right ingredients. A unique premise, a talented director, a passionate fan base, and it's not rated. Okay, but here's a question. What if the movie doesn't live up to all the hype? What if it flops? That's the big question, isn't it? It happens to a lot of films, especially those with a lot of buzz. Sometimes the expectations are just too high. And film is subjective. What one person loves, another might hate. That's what's great about it. Crackoon, with all its horror, comedy, and absurdity, it's going to get a lot of different reactions. For sure. Some people might be horrified, others might find it hilarious, and some might just find it plain ridiculous. It's all about going in with an open mind. And who knows, maybe Crackoon will be one of those films that sparks those heated debates, those passionate discussions. Let's be optimistic. All right. Let's say Crackoon does live up to the hype. It becomes a cult classic. What will make it last? Well, we've talked about some of the key factors. The premise, the director, the fan base, the not rated status. But what about the movie itself? What makes a film rewatchable, quotable, you know, a true classic? The ingredients of cult cinema. It's a tough recipe to crack, but there are some key elements. Okay, give me the secret formula. It often starts with memorable characters. Think Ash from Evil Dead, Sean and Ed from Shaun of the Dead. We need a character that embodies the spirit of Crackoon. Exactly. Someone a little offbeat, a little reckless, but someone we can root for. And it doesn't even have to be a human character, right? Right. Think Gizmo from Gremlins. Sometimes the creature steals the show. A raccoon with charisma. I like it. And then there's the visual style. Cult films, they often have a unique look. Like what? The camera work in Evil Dead. The zombie makeup and Shaun of the Dead, they have a visual language that sets them apart. Okay, so we need Crackoon to have a look that's both striking and disturbing. Exactly. And then the soundtrack. Oh yeah, music is huge. Think about Halloween or the use of Queen in Shaun of the Dead. The music becomes part of the movie. And for a horror comedy like Crackoon, the soundtrack could make or break it. It could blend that suspense and humor, creating a whole sonic landscape. Again, Chill's just thinking about it. So we've got memorable characters, unique visuals, a killer soundtrack. What else was that final ingredient? That's the tricky part. It's that special something, that X factor, that originality, that willingness to push boundaries, that ability to connect with audiences on a deeper level. You can't force it. It just happens. Exactly. Maybe Crackoon has it. Maybe it doesn't. We'll have to wait and see. Well, I'm ready to embrace the chaos. Me too. Yeah. Who can resist a drug-fueled homicidal raccoon? Okay, but before we wrap up completely, let's take a little detour. Let's explore some of the other cool things we found on Blu-ray.com. Right. Remember, this deep dive is about more than just Crackoon. It's about film culture as a whole. Exactly. So let's talk about those lists again. Those top Blu-ray deals and trending Blu-ray movies. They tell us a lot about what's happening in the world of home entertainment. They really do. It's like they're reflecting the desires of the Blu-ray community. And what struck me is the diversity. Yeah. Westerns, horror superhero films, indie dramas. It shows how vast and varied the world of film is. And Blu-ray.com, it caters to all those tastes. Whether you're a hardcore genre fan or just looking for something new. It's like a digital library full of possibilities. You can curate your own experience. Exactly. That's the power of technology. It allows us to access and engage with film in ways we never could before. And that accessibility is incredible. It's a democratization of cinema. Okay, I think we need to take a break. Let all this sink in. We'll be back soon for part three of our Crackoon Deep Dive. We'll explore even more of Blu-ray.com's hidden gems. It's going to be a wild ride. We're back for the final part of our Crackoon Deep Dive. Ready to wrap things up. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I feel like we've only just begun to explore all that Blu-ray.com has to offer. I agree. There's so much more to discover on that site. Like, it's not just about those big blockbusters. What else have you found? You can find information on... Really obscure films. 
cult classics, foreign releases, stuff you wouldn't even think of. So it's perfect for those cinephiles, those diehard film buffs. It's like having your own personal film librarian. Ready to guide you towards all those hidden gems. Yeah, exactly. Stuff you wouldn't find on those mainstream streaming services. And it's constantly being updated, too. New releases, reviews. Oh, that user-generated content. It's like a living archive of film history. And you can interact with it, too. Watch trailers, read reviews, connect with other fans. It's more than just passively taking in information. You become a part of it. Oh, and I noticed this cool feature. You can filter films by country of origin. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. It's like taking a cinematic world tour. Without leaving your couch. Exactly. You can explore Japanese cinema, Italian near realism, Bollywood films. Broaden your horizons. And challenge those preconceived notions of what cinema can be. Okay, but let's talk about the actual viewing experience. Yeah. Blu-ray.com, it's not just about discovering movies, it's about enjoying them. In the best way possible. It's got all this information on home theater setups, equipment. Tips on optimizing your viewing environment. To create that immersive experience. Exactly. Okay, but gotta ask, what about snacks for our Crackoon viewing party? Snacks are essential. Hmm, I'm thinking something wild. Maybe some trash panda-themed treats. Oh, I like that. What about, like, chocolate-covered gummy worms? Arranged in a raccoon shape. Genius. And some blue corn chips for those glowing blue eyes. We're all set then. We've got the movie, the home theater, the snacks. Almost. But before we hit play, remember, watching a film, it's subjective. Yeah, what one person loves. Another might hate. And that's okay. It's all valid. Just go in with an open mind. Let yourself be entertained, surprised. And crack cone with all that horror, comedy, and absurdity. It's going to get a lot of different reactions. Some might be horrified. Some might be amused. Some might find it ridiculous. Embrace the unexpected. Let yourself be surprised. And who knows, maybe Crack Coon will be one of those films. The ones that spark debates. Inspire memes. Generate discussions for years to come. It's the beauty of film, you know? It connects us. Divides us. Makes us laugh. Makes us scream. And it stays with us. Long after the credits roll. That's what makes this deep dive so rewarding. It's about more than just one movie. It's about film culture. How we interact with it. How it shapes us. Ah. It's a powerful art form. Okay, I think it's time to wrap things up. Time to go watch Crackoon. We've explored the movie. We've unearthed some hidden gems on Blu-ray.com. And hopefully... We've inspired you to go on your own cinematic adventures. So go out there. Explore different genres. Discover those hidden treasures. And don't be afraid to let your freak flag fly. Until next time, happy watching. And remember... Too curious. And maybe be a little cautious around raccoons. <laughs>